Welcome to our exploration of procrastination, where we demystify its psychology, chart the historical shift in understanding, and uncover practical strategies for overcoming this challenge. Plunging right into the essence of procrastination, this delay or postponement of tasks is not a mere exhibition of laziness or poor time management. Our understanding runs considerably deeper, revealing fundamental psychological triggers like fear of failure and perfectionism. Procrastination is a pervasive phenomenon, universally spread across various life domains, be it work, academics, or personal projects. And this universality transcends geographical or cultural limitations, deeply impacting people's lives around the globe. However, the primary understanding of this highlight is the recognition that tackling procrastination isn't as simple as implementing time management techniques. Rather, it involves addressing the aforementioned deep-seated psychological elements, which we'll explore in subsequent discussions. Delving into a cluster of research, one important link surfaces. Procrastination correlates with heightened levels of stress and anxiety, and it's especially linked to lower GPAs among college students. This reveals the direct negative consequences of procrastination, not only on our psychological well-being, but in the sphere of scholastic success. Remarkably, a logical solution also arises from the same body of research, addressing procrastination effectively through efficient time management and pragmatic goal-setting enhances both academic outcomes and overall sentiment of well-being. Developing such a strategic approach is a crucial aspect of overcoming the ominous shadow of procrastination. The tale of procrastination hails from ancient Greece, where it was identified as akrasia, a struggle between knowledge and action. Socrates probed into this intricate relationship, casting light on the dissonance between knowing what we ought to do and our actions. Taking this ethos to the heart of Roman philosophy, Seneca sternly warned of life's brevity, positioning procrastination as a theft of time, hence advocating an immediate call to action. As we catapult from ancient wisdom into the realities of modern time, a notable paradigm shift marks the discourse on procrastination. Psychological research attaches procrastination to conditions like anxiety, depression, and ADHD, peeling off the label of it merely being a character flaw. An example being students with ADHD, who often are ensnared in the clutches of procrastination due to their struggles with time management. Now add technology into the mix, and the phenomenon truly thrives. Social media platforms specifically design their interfaces around our predisposition for novelty, deftly encouraging procrastination through features like infinite scrolling. Hence, the subject of procrastination has evolved, intertwined deeply with historical beliefs, psychological revelations, and modern technology. The key to understanding procrastination lies in fear of failure, a robust psychological trigger. It is defined as the apprehension about not living up to one's own standards, often linked to self-worth and the individual's perception of their abilities. Consider, for example, a student grappling with an academic task. Fear of failure may push them towards procrastination, further impacting their self-worth, leading to a vicious cycle of avoidance and self-deprecation. Yet unraveling this connection between fear of failure, self-esteem, and procrastination provides us with solutions. Now this fear of failure, intriguingly, doesn't just induce procrastination, it's intricately knotted with an insidious form of perfectionism, another primary instigator. Procrastination becomes a defense mechanism against not just the fear of failure, but also the devastating impact of not meeting the lofty perfectionistic standards. The cycle then evolves, avoidance triggers anxiety, further fueling procrastination, ultimately thwarting one's goals. However, tools like embracing failure Realistic goal-setting and seeking support introduce breaks into this cycle. Recognizing these interwoven threads implicit in procrastination offers us more targeted and effective strategies to counter our innate tendency towards delay. Perfectionism involves an obsession to set impossibly high standards. This relentless pursuit is driven by societal pressures equating personal worth to accolades and overanalyzing tendencies spurred by our brain's prefrontal cortex. A fear of failure is bred within these steep expectations, instigating procrastination through avoidance of criticism. However, we don't have to be stuck in this fear spiral. The solution lies in adopting strategies like challenging our fear of failure, imbibing a growth mindset, and treating setbacks as learning opportunities rather than damning faults. 
Through these measures, perfectionism can transform from being an unproductive master to a tool for achieving our goals effectively, thereby dismantling the toxic cycle of procrastination and stress. Diving into perfectionism's paradox opens the door to balancing our aspiration for excellence with compassionate self-regard. Procrastination finds a breeding ground in the murky waters of lack of motivation, escalating stress, anxiety, and depression. Imagine a domino effect where the failure to act breeds discontent, further fueling inaction. It's a cyclical relationship that saps our mental well-being. But how does this appear in our daily lives? Let's meet Joe. He's an everyday individual, yet shadows of procrastination loom large. Productivity wanes, self-esteem dwindles, and each incomplete task leaves a stain of incompetence. Joe's salvation? It lies within, through the help of a friend. Together, they set small, achievable goals. Each met target reignites lost motivation, fueling a sharp surge in productivity. The tale of Joe encapsulates the struggle many wage daily. But if we pause and identify the underpinnings of such a cycle, we discern a path to mollify its effects. Enhanced motivational techniques, addressing underlying mental health concerns, and turning to cognitive behavioral therapies become our armory to face this challenge. These tools help sever the threads tying procrastination to poor mental health, thus aiding individuals in reclaiming control over their minds and lives. Focusing our attention to the Pomodoro Technique, this ingenious method encourages productivity by structuring work into manageable intervals. Originating from the Italian moniker for tomatoes, it alludes to the kitchen timers shaped like the succulent fruit. This ingenious method coaches us to commit to tasks wholeheartedly for a solid 25 minutes, painstakingly minimizing disruptions during this interval. Ensuing these intense work sessions, an important balance is struck with brief five-minute interludes. After completing four cycles, a lengthier rest period of 15 to 30 minutes ensues, a much-needed mental oasis. Visualize a studious scholar engaged in diligent reading for the 25-minute duration, punctuated with refreshing respites. To aid this technique, tools like Tomato Timer or Focus Booster help keep track of time. But structuring our work cannot stand alone without structured goals. Enter SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound. Writing a novel doesn't commence with penning the last chapter. Instead, begin by allocating an hour each day for brainstorming, chiseling the intricacies of your potential storyline. Through such viable tasks, Feeling overwhelmed becomes a distant memory, but creating goals is futile without self-discipline. Keeping a steadfast grip on our commitments, establishing routines, and recognizing our accomplishments form the backbone of this virtue. Moreover, to proactively manage our smart ventures and their ensuing distractions, regular inspection of our progress is vital. Journals diligently updated, apps that monitor progress and monthly reflections fuel the furnace of productivity and keep the icy fingers of procrastination at bay. Social support spells rescue from procrastination's clutch. Its importance lies in three facets, emotional, informational, and instrumental. Emotional support assuages those anxiety stabs like a soothing balm. Couple that with informational aid, offering strategies for productivity and problem solving. It becomes an armor against procrastination. And instruments like the Pomodoro Technique designed to maintain time discipline, make this armor impenetrable. On the other side are accountability partners. They push us towards our goals, arm us against stress, and boost productivity. Like a personal coach, they continuously review and redefine objectives, ensuring we stay on track. Successful examples abound, accentuating the significance of these relationships in this realm. So, remember, when wrestling with procrastination, the weapon of social support can turn the tides, highlighting that seeking it is not a weakness but strength. When ready to brave the storm of procrastination, you are not alone. Your community, mentors, or coaches, even a friend, could be your lifeline. In an era where technology reigns supreme, its dual nature exploits our tendencies to procrastinate. Every like, share, or new post on social media triggers a dopamine surge, fostering a dopamine-driven cycle of gratification, distraction, an eventual increase in screen time. This almost infinite availability of content nudges us towards seeking immediate and easy rewards, applying a break on our productivity. Additionally, the omnipresence of smartphones often has us in a constant state of readiness to respond, 
escalating the digital distraction. Instrumental in this scenario are digital well-being tools such as app timers, focus modes, and the implementation of no-phone zones, essential lifeboats in this sea of distractions. But remember, technology is not solely to blame. It arms us with the tools required to tackle procrastination head-on. An array of productivity apps like to-do lists or Pomodoro timers can wean us from the hooks of distraction if used wisely. Additionally, employing techniques like setting up no-phone zones can substantially reduce digital distractions, enhancing our productivity. However, the real victory over procrastination lies in personal responsibility and self-awareness. It's not just about wielding these apps, but how we respond to these devices that makes all the difference. Take control, harness the power of technology, and transform it from being the enabler of procrastination to an ally in productivity. The crux of diffusing procrastination resides in the realm of self-awareness. Let's unpack this with the first element of our proactive approach, identifying the triggers. This process revolves around a simple tool, a thought journal. Each time you discover yourself delaying a task, jot down the task, the feeling, and your stated reason for not doing it. Over time, you'll see a pattern emerge, revealing your specific triggers from fear of failure to overwhelming tasks or even apathy. Now, we bridge the gap between recognition and action by employing the Pomodoro technique. This productive boost involves 25 minutes of intense work, followed by a five-minute breather. The beauty of this method lies in its flexibility, allowing adjustments to cater to your attention span and the task's nature. By deconstructing daunting responsibilities into manageable chunks, it reframes the negative siren call of procrastination into proactive steps. As we hone this proactive approach, we embed ourselves into the transformative journey of self-improvement. It's a hustle indeed, but remember, the race is long and it's only with ourselves. Carry forward the lessons of perseverance and remember that the missteps are just stepping stones to resilient resilience. The key to effectively combating procrastination lies within the ingenious Pomodoro technique, driving students like Alex towards enhanced academic success and improved mental health. This proven method aims at transforming monumental tasks into manageable sections by setting out structured work periods of intense focus, followed by well-deserved rest intervals. Picture yourself immersed in 25 minutes of undistracted work, duly rewarded with a five-minute breather once your task is completed. In the context of Alex's scholastic journey, applying the Pomodoro technique precipitated a breakthrough, not just with his grades, but also with his overall state of mind. The shift from being bogged down by academic delays to achieving fluency in his studies manifested through this structured process, affirming the power of time management against procrastination. As we navigate toward overcoming procrastination, remember, it's not an insurmountable mountain. With strategies like the Pomodoro Technique at our disposal and a tenacious spirit of perseverance, we can leap from the stagnant pool of procrastination into the dynamic river of productivity.